Susanna, let me start with you. How are you, how are you approached? Oh, who's the kitty, by the way? I know. There's my Let me ask the kitty a question. How are you, how are you approached about joining the family? Um, I'm trying to figure out a short way of saying this, but when the time disbanded, um, and Jelly Bean, this is your direct experience with you, Paul, mm -hmm. you yeah. did it as well. We're in the time, and then that this period in like 19, let's say 19, early 85, and um, all these fantastic musicians. And Prince felt at that point, um, what what can I do with these great players? And there were all of these sort of uh, uh, essential players that he would, you know, like Eric and myself, who were in the peripheral. He he just sort of thought everyone was. Well, let me put it. I'm trying. It's a little confusing because I have the image in my head of what had happened, but is a it. it, it Everyone was in this one particular place rehearsing. If you remember, Jelly Bean, like that big rehearsal space yeah, that everybody. Yeah, big rehearsal had. space, a uh, flying cloud off uh, flying cloud road. Yeah. Right, you guys were on one end of the set, uh, one end of the the building, and we yeah. were on the other. And yeah, yeah. Then it was like, like Morris left. Morris is gone. Yeah. Jesse's yeah. gone. Everybody's at. They want out. No one wants to be yeah. there. Really contentious. But there were all of these other players that were there and we were like we all want to play and prince felt like i think at the time he felt there you know a, a bit of a responsibility to keep the train moving and then also it was like this great opportunity to use these i mean he, there was paul there was bean and then yeah. there was Eric and myself and i was involved with him at the time as well right Let's put this project yeah. to this thing. And he wanted to call it like, this is part, this is our extended family. And it felt right to call it the family and put this band together to res, not resurrect, but sort of reimagine this musical uh, vision he had. And if it wasn't going to be the time, it, it could be these, these great players and musicians. And it was kind of a brilliant move on his part. We all wanted to work. We all wanted to be creative. Um, and I think that it was, uh, you know, I remember him saying, you know, specifically saying, well, let's put a band together. Let's call it the family. I think it's I, he was like, let's put it together. He said, you have to work. I'm like, yeah, I'm up for it. Well, you, you had a different thing. Bean and I were in the thick of, the whole disbanding of the time, but you were coming at it from a different angle because you were involved with him. How did the, I'm just curious of how he, he just felt like he wanted to be a caretaker and keep the ball rolling. So you, you saw that side of him and we didn't, we didn't see the pre-planning portion of that. We just saw the announcement, you know, he did. <laughs> right. I mean, we were there for the reveal and that's it. We didn't hear what was going on in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, there's, there's personality, you know, so you guys got a different personality and I'm sure that mm -hmm. there was a bit of it too. He didn't want to be as though there was anything vulnerable about the situation. God forbid. Um, I mean, the time is breaking up his, you know, beloved time. Like this was, you know, his childhood band that he got to really, you know, go deep with a part of himself and that was disbanding and all of his brothers were leaving right. and you know, you weren't going to see that vulnerable side of him. Yeah. He was going to just put his big boy pants on if that was you know, not, not that he would ever see it that way. But you know, he was like, that's, you know, there's all these great musicians. We're going to use, we're going to use that and we're going to you know, reimagine it. 